This faceless channel posted their first video just one year ago, has only uploaded 8 YouTube videos and have already gained over 12 million views and earn over $5,000 a month by posting faceless history documentary videos. So in this video, I'll show you all the steps you need to take from start to finish to create videos for your own channel like this using AI tools. And to prove to you how easy this is, here's a sneak peek of one of my very own videos that I created in just under 30 minutes. This is the journey of how we became the modern humans we are. Our story begins over 12,000 years ago, in the depths of the last ice age. Humans were hunter-gatherers living in small, mobile groups, dependent on the land for survival. But then, something remarkable happened. So the first thing you'd need to do is get ideas for your video. In order to get ideas for your video, what you want to do is come on over to ChatGPT. Then once on ChatGPT, you want to go ahead to ask it this prompt. Give me history YouTube video ideas along the lines of the entire history of blank and hit enter. And then now, as you can see, it has gone ahead to give me a bunch of different ideas that I could utilize for my first video. So for example, the entire history of ancient Egypt. And then as you can see, it gives you a bit of an explanation of what this video would be about. Now, if you don't like any of these you could always ask it to give you more ideas the second step is to generate the script for your video so in order to do this you want to go ahead to ask in a prompt like this act as a youtube video script writer create an engaging and captivating video script that will attract and retain viewers the script should be about 10 minutes long now here you could insert whatever time you prefer whether that be an hour three hours five minutes the choice would be yours runtime and speech talking at a medium pace typically i like to keep at a medium pace because i feel like it helps that gpt get the right timing for the script or at least close enough and it continues consider incorporating elements such as storytelling relatable content clear structure and analogy to encourage audience engagement write the video script about the topic you want to insert the topic or the video idea you'd want to use from your video so i'm going to write mine about the entire history of human civilization and then it continues use your creativity and expertise to produce a high quality and informative script that will appeal to a wide audience you can also feel free to edit and tweak this prompt to fit your use case more precisely but once you have that you just need to hit enter so now over here as you could see it included the voiceover as well as the scene settings you don't want this one now what i want is just the narration of this because that'll be very useful for me when it's time to create the voiceover so from here what i recommend you do is tell chat gpt this which is simply to extract the narration and hit enter so now as you could see it has only extracted the narration which is going to make it easy for when we need to create the voiceover which brings me to the next step which you could probably guess it time to generate the voiceover for the script in order to generate the voiceover what you want to do is come on over to this tool called 11 labs i'll leave the link for it in the description below so once you're in this section on 11 labs what you need to do is now choose a voice to utilize for your video so in order to do this what you'd want to do is come on over to the side here and go to where it says voices and then you want to go to the library and then once on this page you want to now describe and filter out for the type of voice you specifically want so i would want it to be narrative and story storytelling voice there's a few different options you want to choose but this one works best and then in the filters option here click onto it and then i could further refine the filters of the voice i would want so i'd say the gender to be male age middle age and language i'd want it to be english american accents now i could see all the different voices which fit my category but what you'd want to do now is play all of them listen to them and then pick the one that you prefer then once you've found the voice that you'd like to use in your video what you want to do is simply click where it says add to my voices and then click add voice and hit finish. Now it will be added into your voices so that you can actually use this. So what you'd have to do from here is go back to the speech section and then here in the settings where you could select a name for a voice that you'd want to utilize, you want to click onto it and locate the voice that you just downloaded from the library. For me, this is David. So I'll simply click onto it and it will be here. Now from here, you could actually get the script to generate. So in order to do this, you want to come back over to ChatGPT and then you want to go ahead to copy your first two paragraphs then you want to come back on over to 11 labs and simply paste it in and then in order to generate it you simply want to hit generate speech and then 11 labs will begin generating your voiceover for you let's take a listen to what this sounds like human civilization a story spanning over 10,000 years filled with triumphs tragedies and the relentless pursuit of progress. Now this voice actually isn't bad. In fact, it's pretty great, but I'm going to show you a tip that could actually help you make your voiceover sound way better. What you'd want to do is firstly this, you want to remove any spaces that may be there because it will cause the AI to pause a lot in the voices and make it sound a bit less natural sounding. Then something else you want to utilize is adding capitalizations, commas, quotation marks, exclamation marks, and even question marks. 
Now that it's done, before we listen to this, I want to refresh your brain on what the first one sounded like. Human civilization, a story spanning over 10,000 years, filled with triumphs, tragedies, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Now let's listen to the one that we just generated. Human civilization, a story spanning over 10,000 years, filled with triumphs and the relentless pursuit of progress. From the first sparks of culture to the towering skyscrapers of today, this is the journey of how we became the modern humans we are. You cannot tell me that that doesn't sound a million times better. So once you've done with your voiceover, all you need to do is click download and it's going to be downloaded to your computer. Now remember, we only did the first two paragraphs. So in order to continue this, you want to head on back over to ChatGPT. You want to go ahead to copy the next two or three paragraphs. Come on back on over to 11 Labs, paste it in and then edit it the same way. Now you don't want to generate the whole story by itself because with 11 Labs, when you try to generate too much speech at once, it can begin to sound a little bit strange. So you want to keep them short and simple. Now, not well, you do not have to edit it how I've done, but if you want your voiceovers to sound 10 times better, I suggest you do so. So you want to keep doing this and downloading it till you have your entire video done. Now, the next step is for you to generate the images, generate the scenes for your video. Now, this part is just as easy, but it's also just as fun. And I'm going to show you how you could really turn this into something amazing amazing so you could get the most views for your channel so stick with me what you want to do is come on back over to ChatGPT where you have your narration what you want to do is ask for a prompt like this imagine you are an image generation prompt producer create three or more image prompts for each scene and hit enter so now as you can see ChatGPT has gone ahead to give us all the prompts to generate the images for our entire video Hmm, didn't even have to think about it. So from this point, it's time to move to phase two, which is to actually generate those images. In order to actually generate those images, what you want to do is come on over to Leonardo AI. You could find a link for it in the description below. Now, once on Leonardo, what you want to do is come on over to where it says image creation. And then in this section where it says fine tune model, you want to click onto it and be sure you're in Leonardo Lightning Excel. Ensure you have dynamic on. And then in this section on the side here under advanced controls, you want to be sure to set this to 16 by 9 as this is the shape of a YouTube video. From here, all you want to do is go on back over to ChatGPT and then you're going to go ahead to copy your first prompt, come back to Leonardo and simply paste it in. And once it's pasted in, all you need to do is hit generate. And now as you can see, Leonardo has gone ahead to generate me two very amazing images that I could utilize for my video. <laughs> Let me just say, this looks quite excellent. Now as images themselves, they look pretty good, but do you want to go to utilize this as it is for your video no instead of what you want to do is change this image into a live video because that'll make it way more engaging in order to do this it is absolutely simple all you simply want to do is hover your mouse over the image you'd want to use and then over here where it says generate motion video you want to click onto it and then you want to keep your motion to three or two whichever you prefer and then you want to click generate as you can see it's now turned this very stagnant image into a video the fire is moving the background is moving this looks quite amazing and that's exactly what you'd want to do to go about continuing generating all the images for your video what you'd want to do is go on back over to chat gpt and then you'd go ahead to copy the second prompt come back on over to leonardo paste it in and hit generate and now as you can see it has gone ahead to generate yet another great image to utilize so in order to turn it into a video you would do the same exact thing you'd hover the mouse click generate motion video keep motion strength to about three hit generate and now as you could see this looks absolutely amazing the hand is moving he's digging into the grass so from here what you'd want to do is download the videos that you received simply hover the mouse over it and click download as mp4 and then do it for all of the videos that you end up creating so you want to go ahead to go back to chat gpt and do this for all the prompts of your video and once you're done with this it's time to move on to the next step which is finding the right background music for your documentary so in order to find background music what you want to do is come on over to upbeat i I'll leave the link for it in the description. It's the tool that I use personally. What you want to do in the search bar, you want to go ahead to search for documentary and then you want to go ahead to search through all the music that it has and then you want to play them and see the one that you think would work best for your video. And when you found maybe one or two that you really like, you simply want to download it. So you'll click where it says download and your background music will be downloaded to your computer. It's that easy and simple. So from here, the next thing you would need to do is start to actually put everything that you just got together to create 
edit your amazing video now in order to edit your video what you want to do is come on over to a video editing platform so the one i'm going to be using in this video is CapCut, but you do not need to use this personally i use davinci resolve but it can get a bit complicated for beginners CapCut is fairly easy but you could also use whatever video editing platform that you prefer for yourself and once on the editing platform the first thing you would need to do is to import all the clips that you just downloaded so that means all the videos the voiceovers and the background music so now as you can see all my clips and audios have been imported and not well just for the sake of the tutorial i'm not using the entire 10 minute video so the first thing you want to do is get your voiceovers and drag them into your timeline and then you want to zoom in a bit so that you could see the voiceover better pursuit of progress from the for example like here where it says this this pursuit of progress from the see this space you don't need this space so in order to cut it out you'd find where it starts so here and then you'd right click onto this and hit cut and then you play the rest from then you simply right click onto it and hit cut and then you'd simply delete the middle portion and then you can close the gap and then you want to just continue doing this for all the spaces you find that a tad bit long because that really affects how natural this ends up sounding and then the next step is to import your clips into your timeline so i'd simply click onto it and then drag it into my timeline i would go ahead to do this for the second clip and then the fourth and then you would keep doing this for your entire video and whilst you're doing this what you'd want to do is click the plus button to zoom in and then you'd want to go ahead to play your audio and then you want to adjust just the videos to match which point of the audio the voiceover that it is in relation to and you'd want to keep playing and doing this for your entire video till you have all your visuals added into your timeline so now once you have all your clips uploaded and your voiceover the next thing you need to do is add in your background music in order to add it in and show your playhead is at the start of your video you want to simply grab the background music and add it into the timeline and then you could crop the rest of it because you don't need it and delete it then you want to adjust the volume because you don't want it to be too loud so go where it's says basic and then you'll decrease the volume till it's at a low enough sound to not overpower the voiceover then the next thing you want to do is add in some transitions between each of your scenes because take a look at this sparks of culture to this is a bit too hard you want to give it a little bit of a fade or something you want to put your mouse between the two clips and click where it says add transition and then you want to click on the black fade i feel like this always works best and then on the side here you'll see this option you want to click onto it and then you want to click where it says apply to all and then click onto where it says basic and what you want to do is increase the transition duration to about three and then click apply to all so it's applied to all of your clips and now let's see what this looks like the towering skyscrapers of today this is the now if you notice that you don't like how it looks between all of your clips you can go through and remove it from the ones you don't want it there for or add in different transition at the end of the day it's all up to you and then after you have in all your transitions the next thing you want to do is add in some effects onto your actual clips and then once that's done the next thing you want to do is add in some captions into your video so in order to do this you want to click where it says captions you want to click auto captions and then keep english selected hit generate and then it'll go ahead to generate the captions for you then once the captions are done you simply want to click onto it and now you want to adjust it because like this it's not good enough so in order to adjust it with the text selected you want to go into presets go to templates and then locate a template that you'd want to use for example this one be sure to find a template that you prefer so if you don't find any of them good enough you can edit your text manually and then also add in the animation manually if you would prefer as well and then those are the major edits that you need to do for your video from here you could go on to further editing by adding some more effects different transitions filters or even adding in some extra background audio to enhance the look and feel of your entire video and then once you've done this added in your sound effects and your edits all you need to do is export this video Video. so in order to export it you want to click where it says export and then you want to click where it says download you need to importantly ensure this is at 1080p because this is perfect for YouTube format is mp4 and then you can go ahead to title it whatever you want to from here all you need to do is click where it says export and now that your video is done all you need to do is post it to your YouTube channel and now I know you saw the sneak peek from the beginning of the video now it's time to see the results let's take a look at what it looks like this is the journey of how we became the modern humans we are. Our story begins over 12,000 years ago, in the depths of the last ice age. Humans were hunter-gatherers living in small, mobile groups dependent on the land for survival. But then, something remarkable happened. People began to settle down. The Neolithic Revolution marked the dawn of agriculture. People discovered that they could plant seeds, grow crops. That 
was absolutely amazing. I was really engaged the whole time and this is exactly what you want to do for your videos. Now from here, all that's left for you to do is utilize a tool like Canva. That's the tool I use to create your YouTube thumbnail for these videos and use a tool like vidIQ to help you with keyword research and just your overall packaging of the video to ensure that you will gain the maximum number of views. So if you wanted to create a channel like this, now you know how, but hold on now, don't click off this video yet because if you want to learn more ways you can create faceless YouTube channels, then you need to check out this other video on my channel.